All right, guys, so we are in uh, Dayton, Ohio now, and we're stopping at Mike's Vintage Toys, and I think a record store as well. Um, but yeah, down here in Dayton, I've never been down here before. I've been to Mike's before, but in his old location, I've never been to the new one. So I'll show you guys the new, or new to me, once again, location, and uh, show you what they got here. What's up and welcome to the audio commentary. Why do we have audio commentary? Because Mike's was playing some loud ass music in there. It was good music, but it was loud. There's some mask stuff, by the way. Got a jackhammer, hurricane. Ooh, that's a nice looking gator. Switchblade, condor, some Legos. That is a very, very cool theater set. It's a palace cinema set. And uh, it's probably one of my most sought after Lego sets. It's expensive too, though. Uh, there's some master stuff. Roton action, some vintage stuff. Ooh, Mobile Command Center by G.I. Joe. And then there is something I need to have back in my collection, Boulder Hill. I stupidly sold it off before we moved back to Texas to make room to get rid of stuff. But I, I definitely want a Boulder Hill from Mask back in the collection. Uh, there's a turtle, uh, turtle wagon, party wagon, some G.I. Joe vehicles. There's some Star Wars stuff. Mike's has a lot of stuff in here. Just a lot of stuff, a lot of vintage stuff. Uh, some Star Wars, Droid Factory, very, very cool. There is something that I purchase in this clip. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until you see it at the end. Uh, do I purchase anything in this clip? I don't believe so, but he had a lot of great shows here. A lot of great shows. Wait, do I? I think I do purchase something here. I'm not sure, I totally forgot. Holy frick. There is uh, John from Chips, one of my favorite TV shows in the late 70s, early 80s. There's a Sark, one of my favorite movies as a kid, Tron. Oh, what's that? What's that, my friends? That's a figure that I've been looking for, that spirit. There's Rick Hunter, Robotech, missing the helmet. There's a Robocop, NECA. What else we got here? More NECA, Terminator 2, Jaws, some Joes, some bigger stuff up top, Tito Santana, autographed figure, that's pretty cool, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, nice signature there, Mythic Legions, Dean Malenko, some Ghostbusters figures, again, Mike's has a great selection of modern and vintage, there's Spengler, rest in peace. Got some Harry Potter stuff, some Lord of the Rings stuff. Turbo tank, such a badass vehicle. Wish I had room for one. Very, very cool. And it works. There's a spy door, one of the very cool He-Man vehicles. A Zoids figure. Holy crap. I remember uh, getting a Zoids figure in Harrods in London uh, for a va family vacation in 1986. Got a Zoids figure, that was pretty cool. Uh, slime pit. I don't think it has working slime. I think the slime is more expensive than the actual slime pit now. But uh, more vehicles hidden here. Some transformers, some modern transformers. There's a Dinobot. Very, very cool. There's a what's his ass? Bane. There's a big ass Bane. Collect and connect. There's some Voltrons. Oh, that's cool. Hagar. Hagar. I filmed this and didn't even remember seeing this. That's what happens when you're filming stuff in a store. You just film Coffin of Darkness. That's freaking awesome too. Um, it's like I'm seeing this for the first time, even though I filmed it. It's how it goes, guys. It's how it goes. Uh, what else we got here? Some vintage Transformers. What do I see? An Ironhide. I see a... Is that a Snarl? And then that's the end of the commentary. <laughs> all right, all done at Mike's. I finally made a decision. Uh, you'll see what I picked up at the end of the video when I do the haul, but uh, all vintage stuff. So very, very happy with my pickups. But uh, now we're going to a record store and then to Columbus. All right, so we're all done at uh, Mike's Vintage and we're eating some food here in Bagger Dave's, my favorite burger joint where I used to live. But let me show you what we got. 
So hands down, my favorite mac and cheese ever is right here, Bagger Dave's. If you're in the area, check it out, mac and cheese. It's called the Twisted Mac and Cheese. And then this is the crispy cheese, bacon, whatever the frick, cheeseburger. <laughs> it's really good though, but there you go. All right, we are now in Columbus, OH, and we're going uh, to Big Fun in downtown Columbus. There's one of these little friggin' scooters that you could just like rent and ride places. But uh, never been to Big Fun, always wanted to go, and uh, now we can do that. So I'll show you what they got. All right, we're outside of Big Fun. This is the like the front little marquee deal. There it is, baby. Big Fun and uh, Shogun Warriors. How about that? Badass. Freaking Shogun Warriors. Love it. Omega Supreme. Unicron. Get in the hat. Her two. Oh. Uh, Slapshot Toys. Up. <laughs> All right, so this is a pretty narrow store. It's narrow and long and uh, a lot of stuff. There's like freaking three tomahawks right above me right now. That's freaking sweet. And three rattlers. Actually, make that five tomahawks. I'm just. Dude, you were not lying, by the way. What? Overwhelmed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's cramped, man. It's crazy. It's cramped, and there's just, like, so much here. The more you look, the more you see me. Like, not the detail. Look at all this. Holy frick. Have you seen the Marvel Legends up front? Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, they're just... It's not... There's, like, shelves, but they're not freaking, like, how deep they are. That's nuts. I mean, they definitely make use of every square inch. Yeah. Not to make a video, but have you done anything yet? Are you still over more? I'm still kind of just taking it all in. At Mike's Vintage, here were the pickups here. Two mask pickups. This one was actually on my list. I made a list before I left of uh, certain things that I was going to look for. And the Bruce Sato Arctic Mission mask figure was on the list. And guess what? I found it. So freaking awesome. I had this as a kid. 
I wanted it again. It was one of my uh, pocket figures as a kid. I used to carry around certain figures in my pocket, play with them whenever I went somewhere. But uh, that was one of them, Bruce Sato, Arctic Mission, and I got them. Feels freaking awesome. Uh, here's another mask uh, figure and vehicle that I picked up, the Vampire and Floyd Malloy right there, looking awesome. Complete, it's got the missiles, but I picked up that uh, Floyd and Vampire mask vehicle and figure. And then here is a G.I. Joe figure that I wanted. I have a short list of G.I. Joe figures that I absolutely want to pick up in the vintage G.I. Joes, but uh, there is Spirit right there, very, very cool. Uh, the, the shirt, a little faded, but that's okay. The shirt's supposed to be bluish. I wonder if I could take soap and water and kind of, I don't know if that's dirt or just fade, but uh, still, he's complete. He's got everything. Got the gun ski, got iron knife, got the little uh, thing on his waist. He's got the backpack, just looks awesome. He was one of my favorite characters in the cartoon. He was the one that fought Storm Shadow the most, not Snake Eyes, but Spirit. And he even has his uh, file card. Pretty freaking awesome. And there's the original packaging of the figure. So very, very freaking cool. Mike's Vintage Toys, they had a sale. Thank you for having a sale, Mike. I appreciate it. And then last but not least, we went to Big Fun in downtown Columbus. There were several, several things I was contemplating. It was a very tough decision. But in the end, I picked up this star, I think this is called the Star Wolf, is it not? I completely forgot what this is called. I think it's called the Star Wolf, uh, but I do have the larger Stark. This is a Starcom vehicle, by the way. And uh, I tested it out, all the gears work. Um, and it comes with the pilot and he has the visor. It's very hard to find pilots with visors in Starcom. But I got the pilot. I got the, pretty sure it's called the Star Wolf. It's hard to remember all these damn names for these toys since I've been collecting for freaking 40 years. But anyway, uh, this can actually magnetize to the larger ship, which I actually have at home. So very, very freaking cool. And then this one right here, I saw this in the case and I was like, you know what? I have never, ever seen the CM Punk WWE Elite figure uh, before. Uh, it comes with like a hoodie, like a jacket. So I had to look it up and I found out that this is from Elite Series 29. I think they're in the, what, 80s or 90s now, but this is from Elite 29, and this was CM Punk's final Elite figure. So I'm like, you know what? They're not gonna make any more WWE Elite CM Punk figures now that he's with AEW, so I'm gonna get this one. It was kind of pricey. It, was, uh, it ended up costing me like 54 bucks, but uh, worth it, in my opinion. This is a really cool looking Punk. And again, I had never seen one, this one before with the hoodie, the jacket, uh, and it comes with the uh, the megaphone. I don't think this accessory is actually for this figure, but he was holding it, so I uh, ended up getting it. But there you go. CM Punk Elite 29. Starcom. So there you go. Here's the, here's the full spread. Joe's, Joe's mask, WWE, and Starcom. We still have tomorrow to go. We've got the, uh, the big Columbus Toy Show. So far I've kept my spending um, pretty uh, modest. So we'll see how I do tomorrow with the spending. We'll see what I pick up then. Kind of running out of room in my suitcase, especially with this big snake eyes to put in there. So gonna have to find some room for it, but that's it for now guys. So thanks for watching. Please thumbs up the video if you liked the footage, uh, if you liked the haul. But uh, I will see you guys around the corner and I'll see you in the next video uh, from the Columbus Toy Show. So I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.